Hey, welcome to the video. Happy Friday, or whatever day it is that you happen to be watching this. My name is Colby, and I've got kind of an important update for you today regarding Starlink and some new Gen 3 accessories. So, the previous video, we had some new accessories for Gen 3, the power supply and router wall mounts, and Starlink is releasing yet another accessory for the newest Generation 3 dish. So it is actually the Gen 3 Ridgeline mount that has popped up in the Starlink shop recently. So if you're not aware, uh, Starlink sells everything directly on their website. You can go to shop.starlink.com and look at all those accessories for yourself if you wish. I just check it every once in a while just to see if there's any new products that have been released. And today I found the Gen 3 Ridgeline mount in the Starlink shop on the Gen 3 page. So this is important because a lot of you guys have been asking about the Ridgeline mount. And this one right here that I have on the desk is the Gen 2 version that was compatible with the Gen 2 standard actuated dishes and also the high performance uh, dish that was a part of that kind of Gen 2 lineup. So from what I can tell on this product listing, uh, it's, it's basically the, gonna be the same mount just with a different attachment head obviously for the Gener generation three specifically. Uh, but before we get into all the details of that, which I'll, I'll look at it a little bit closer here in a second, uh, one of the things that confused me and kind of a thing that makes this product launch interesting is that Starlink's webpage has, is just like totally messed up. Like if you look at the product listing for the Ridgeline mount, you notice that, okay, the picture is obviously of a Ridgeline of a Gen 3 dish on a Ridgeline mount. So we know this is a new product. However, look at the description. Uh, the description says under compatibility that it's only compatible with the standard actuated Starlink and the high performance Starlink dish. So that means Gen 2, which is extremely confusing because this is supposed to be the Gen 3 version, right? So what I think happened was just kind of a, a blunder by the Starlink web team. Obviously they just duplicated the old mount and pasted it into a new product. And then they just forgot to change the wording around for the updated Gen 3 information. So I truly believe that this is the Gen 3 Ridgeline mount. If you go ahead and buy it, as long as you see that picture where it's obviously the Gen 3 dish, then you're okay. I, I went ahead and did the same thing. I ordered a copy for myself for review and testing, but it is confusing because customers are gonna read the description and see, oh, wait, it's not compatible with Gen 3 but it actually is. Starlink just has not updated the description on the product listing on the shop. And even the installation instructions, if you click that, it's clearly for the Gen 2 dish as well. So super confusing. I, I don't know why Starlink does this, but they actually have a, a track record of these kind of, of website and shop blunders. Even for Gen 3, even recently, so just a couple months ago, they released the 45 meter Starlink cable for Gen 3. And just like here, they duplicated another cable that they had for Gen 2. And they put the Gen 3 cable picture on there and just forgot to update any of the description wording. So that led to a lot of confusion. People were, were wanting this longer, you know, it's approximately 150 feet. They were wanting that longer cable for their installations for their Gen 3 dishes. and they were looking at the product description and it was clearly the wrong wording, the wrong description, wrong information there. So another kind of mistake by Sterling here, the web team, don't know what's going on with that, but I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, but I, in my experience, in my opinion, that this is the actual Gen 3 product. That if you click on it and you order it, you're gonna be okay. Worst case scenario, if they ship you the wrong one, you just return it for a refund, have them ship you the right one. So it is $250, same price as the previous generation Ridgeline mount, no surprise there. And from looking at the pictures and everything, it appears to be an identical design, except for obviously the mounting method is different because it's a Gen 3 mount versus a Gen 2. And I brought this Gen 2 Ridgeline mount in today. So I wanna show you the difference and how this is gonna work. So this is the Ridgeline mount. And if you're not aware, these are nice because it allows you to do a permanent installation on your roof without actually drilling any holes. So the way this works is that you can see that it's got two legs here that can fold. They can go all the way from flat, so you can mount this on a flat roof, 
to basically any angle. So it's designed to sit on top of your roof on the ridge and straddle each side. So it doesn't matter what kind of roof you have, um, shingle or metal or whatever, you, you'll be able to use this mount to adapt it to your situation. The only caveat there is that if you have some pretty large roof vents, like ridge vents at the top, this might not be a good fit because as you can see, it's supposed to lay flat against each side of the roof. So if you have a, a large ridge vent with a drop off, this might not be a solution. So you have to think about that before you order this new mount. So the way it worked with Gen 2, it has a little adjustment dial here. So you adjust the legs. Once you get your perfect spot where it's laying flat on both sides of the roof, you tighten this down and then you snap the dish into place. So with Gen, oh, and by the way, everything is held down by these right here. So it comes with four ballast weights. These are probably between you know, 12 and 15 pounds each. And they sit right here. They just sit right here. There's four of them, so two on each leg. And they just sit down in there and they weigh this whole mount down. And that's how it's secured to the roof. And in total, this is probably a good 60, 65 pounds of total weight, maybe even more with the dish that's sitting on your roof. So wind is not going to be really a factor with this at all. That dish is just not enough surface area to be able to uh, pick up any amount of wind force to be able to move this mount. So I, I've had, I actually used this for quite a long time. I think about a year or so with a Gen 2 dish and it performed flawlessly. So this is a really popular mount with Strongly customers because they don't have to drill holes in their roof. There's no permanent, you know, installation, no permanent damage or anything to the roof. So it's, it's a great option. So I'm happy that they're introducing this now for Gen 3. And for Gen 3, the way it's going to work, this mount is going to ship with one of these, which is a, a mast piece that you'll get, and then one of these, which is going to be an adapter that slides into the Gen 3 dish. And the way that'll work is this component right here is probably the only thing that's going to be different with the Gen 3 version of this mount. And it's just going to be designed for this to slide in. There's going to be an adjustment knob on the side here to tighten this mass down. That knob is also what allows you to easily rotate the dish because the Gen 3 dish obviously needs to be manually aligned, manually rotated. So it'll look something like something like that. And then obviously the Gen 3 dish behind me will sit on top. So that's about how it'll work. Um, just get this back together. So that's how the Gen 3 version of it will work. Um, again, not, not really surprised with the price there. Same price. It's kind of steep. I know a lot of people are looking at that like, what, 250 bucks for a mount? But it's a small price to pay for not having to drill holes in your roof. If you're wanting, you know, those other mounting options, if you're okay with drilling the hole in the side of the wall, that, that's cool too. That's perfectly adequate. It's a lot cheaper to do it that way. But a lot of people like this because they don't have to make any permanent modifications to their house to be able to use this. And they can move it around if they want to as well. So let's say you have problems with obstructions. You're not sure where exactly you want to mount that dish. You can try this out on one side of your house on, one, on the roof, and then if that doesn't work, you can move it further down the roof. And you're not permanently modifying anything. You're just setting it down and it's weighted down. That's how it stays in place. So I think that was about it for this video. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for this Gen 3 Ridgeline mount? Is that something that you're wanting as far as accessories for the Gen 3? I think I asked in the previous video, you know, what kind of accessories are you looking for for Starlink to put out for Gen 3? and so far, they're on a roll this year. Uh, they, they just launched Gen 3 in December of, of last year, and already this year we have three new developments that have come out. So I, I think next on the list for Starlink, if I had to speculate, I would assume there's going to be some kind of travel case. Uh, they had a, a travel case for the previous generation that wasn't really popular. It wasn't received very well. Uh, I did a review on that. but. Um, as far as this one goes, I think this will knock it out of the park. People love the, the old Ridgeline mount, and I'm happy that they're adapting it now to Gen 3. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to never miss any of these videos. If you're not seeing it today on Friday, 
then you need to subscribe so you can get alerted when I post uploads like this. And make sure you also subscribe to our newsletter on the blog at www.strongcardware.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support, and we'll see you next time.